Hey, it's Keegan, and today we're gonna to be going over the top reasons why you may not want to become a welder as well as come to the Kentucky Welding Institute. I'm gonna be going around asking students some of the main reasons why you may not want to become a welder. I know there's a lot of videos out there that talk about how great it is, how easy it is, and there's a lot of those days, but about 30% of the time, you're gonna be in hard situations with rough conditions. There's a lot of schools and places out there that will tell you it's all sunshine and flowers, but that's not the case all the time. So today, my goal is to share with you some of the hard things about the welding industry, as well as some of the harder things about the Kentucky Welding Institute. So let's go get in the shop, talk to some of the students, and see what they're dealing with. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and check out the shop today. It is first shift and they are about to finish up for the day. So I'm gonna try to grab a couple guys who are maybe on second shift. What are some of the hard things that you deal with on a daily basis that someone who is looking to get into welding might not know and it could hurt them in the long run? No sleep, that's definitely one of the biggest ones. The long hours, it's hard on your body, but once you get used to it, I mean, it gets better some days and then other days you just don't want to be here at all. The hardest thing for me as a welder is definitely like you come in, you have a bad day, you just like, it, wells just aren't going good and you'll get frustrated, but you just keep at it. Like I came in, had days that I just can't weld, got through the day, went home, came in the next day and it all works itself out. Here at the KWI, like we're like hard pushing eight hours straight, like no breaks. Yeah, I mean, you gotta have self-discipline I mean, that's the biggest thing. If you don't have self-discipline, you ain't gonna make it anywhere in, in this industry. Uh, you're gonna get everything criticized about you. You just gotta put up with it and realize how to fix it. Fixing it's one of the biggest things you're gonna have to do here. If you can't fix anything, you're, you're not gonna be a welder. Catching sparks in your gloves, coming home, and you know, your whole body's all blistered up. It's definitely one of the hardest parts, but I mean, it mentally, you can do it. It's, yeah. If you're a welder, you can do it, but it's not for the average person. So what keeps you motivated to push past those hard things? Supporting a family. Okay. That's what I want to do in the long run. So if it's not that, then why am I here? Exactly. What's been some of the struggles that you've had here? And then how did you work past those? You, you need to work hard. It's not, like you said, it's it's not all flowers and daisies. It's you got to push hard. you got to be able to put in the time and the work. And, you know, just like getting out there in the industry, uh, you got to you got to push. It's not just going to be handed to you with that, that price ticket of making a bunch of money. You know, you can't just sit around and expect it to be handed to you. All right, guys, I've got the director of training, Blake Hawkins, here. What are some of the things that you're seeing people are having a hard time with that would cause them to not be a welder? I guess one of the, the, the big thing I think it all boils down to is just work ethic. I think too many kids nowadays are expecting things to be handed to them uh, and just be gently moved along as like a group. Uh, but in the end, it just comes down to you, the individual, you've got to put in the time and the work uh, to make yourself better. You ain't gonna get anything handed to you in life. And if you already have that mindset, KDBI probably is not the place for you to come to if you think you're just gonna get moved along because it takes a lot of hard work to become a, a really good welder in this trade. Uh, and just work ethic is one thing that I see a lot of students don't have anymore. All right, we're gonna check out this booth. Who do we have here? Uh, Seth McMullen. All right, Seth, so we're talking about what are some of the hard things about the welding industry and why individuals may not want to come to KWI or be a welder. What are some of those things that you've been pushing through and working past that a lot of people may quit on? Well, uh, it, it can be discouraging at first. It, they talk about practice makes perfect. I mean, you are constantly practicing. Uh, a lot of it's grinding, prepping metal, making sure everything is perfect. Uh, the white sheets are big things. You may, you're not going to pass it the first time. So uh, what's a white sheet? A white sheet's what you do to get your certification. You got blue sheets leading up to it. Gotcha. White sheets like your final AWS exam. AWS test. Yes. Yeah. It's like your final exam determines whether you go on and pass it or not. Uh, I've, my flux core, I failed three one inch ones and then I finally passed it. So that's uh, pretty discouraging, isn't it? Yeah. I've come in. My shift's from six to two. Uh, I've come in. I've been here at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, just trying to get ahead and you may not get ahead you just you gotta keep doing it keep doing it and having the mindset of you know you're not gonna get it the first time so just mentally getting past the struggle because yeah. you're you know you're in this booth all day long and sometimes it can be kind of mentally challenging to 
keep pushing through and welding the same thing over and over and over. So what's something that's helped you get past that? What do you what do you do when you hit that brick wall? I just I know there's I got five months left, five and a half months actually, so I just need to chill out a little bit. I know this place is open 24 hours. If I get right. mad or it's like shooting a bow, the more you do it, the more you try it, you may screw up, you may get hard, you know. Right. Just step away for a minute and then come back later and that's helped me out some. A hundred percent. All right, who do we have here? I'm Brandon Irwin from Madison, Alabama. I'm a little over four months in now, and uh, this got on pipe, and my experience here has been a struggle relatively to others. I'm a really slow learner, but if you stick with it, you get through it. A lot of times, it's right when you think you can't do it, and then you keep on pushing, and that's when the breakthrough happens. That's when it clicks, and that's when you start really grinding it out. And uh, I mean, I give all the credit to good Lord. He's helped me through everything, praying to him, asking him to help me out. So it's not just skill, it's not just me. It's my father in heaven has helped me a lot through this struggle. I'm right. glad to come to KWI and I love it here. And there was a there was a point in your time here where you didn't think you was gonna make it. Yeah, there was a point. It wasn't that I didn't like welding. I still loved welding. I just think I didn't have the talent to be able to make it as a welder. Gotcha. But then I kept on praying, asking me, a guy from God to get me through it, and he did. And I just kept on at it and uh, eventually broke through. It finally clicked right at that point where I thought it wasn't good enough, kept on pushing, and then that's where it clicked. And then I'm on pipe now. So, I mean, it's been four months, which is slower than most, but it takes however long it takes you. No one's yeah. going to learn at the same rate, same pace. That's what's great about KWI is you're going to have the freedom to do that. Come in, pull extra hours. Um, and I, I love it getting the simulators and just uh, really just take it at your own pace and I, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. What are some of the hours that you've been putting in? Uh, the most I've done in one day was 36 hours. Pull mostly 12s, uh, pull a lot of 14s here and there, 16 once in a while. Now you guys are decent welders. What is the reason that you are pulling those hours? For me, I'm trying to get better, be the best I can, try to fix the welds that need to be fixed, learn how to do it here. So when I get out in the industry, I know how to fix those problems. I'm trying to better myself too. Plus, staying extra and getting you get more certs, and uh, and I'm learning all the alloys most people have never even heard of, let alone know how to weld. And I'm learning how to weld those. So on the job, I'm just up there. What's a piece of advice that you would give to your younger self or someone who is looking to get into the trade? I would say, if I could tell myself in the past, before I started my venture into KWI, is to tell myself to not rush into things, take the time to really perfect my skill on like the basics of stuff, not really try to speed along in the process to get a multitude of welding done whenever I really need to refine my skill on like the basic. And if you can get that done, it'll just better you the whole way throughout. So what are your plans after graduating KWI? I'm not really sure. I, the union came, uh, a union out of Ohio came and they said some pretty interesting stuff and showed us what all you have to do. There'd be a, like a two week school after KWI. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I'm kind of considering that. And, I mean, I've only been here for three weeks, so I'm still kind of open to whatever. Yeah, you still got a lot of time. Yes, sir. So what are you working on right here? This is my 3 8 of 3G and 4G. Okay. And, uh, so this is a blue sheet for practice? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Well, good deal. We appreciate your advice, Seth, and we'll catch you out. What are you looking to get into after welding school? What is your direction that you're going to go with what you learn here? Our biggest goal is we want to weld everywhere. Um, and kind of get into different countries. Like we want to get as much experience as we can in all these different places. So it's definitely right now a struggle for us trying to figure out which avenue is going to be the best route for us to get there. Not putting ourselves in a situation where we're going to set up ourselves to fail. What's some advice that you would give to somebody who is thinking about becoming a welder and some of the issues that they've made deal with. Yes, yeah, so I've pulled a lot of extra hours, but one thing too is uh, asking all the different instructors how they weld. No instructor here welds the same. We'll turn my gas off. No instructor here welds the same. They all have a slightly different technique and a different way of doing things. And I was green as, you know, leaves on a tree coming here and uh, trying out those different techniques. You can't get stuck in your ways. You got to try out and experiment different techniques with different gap sizes with, uh, you know, walking, freehanding, whatever it is to find out what works for you because how Josh welds is not the same way as how Matt welds or how Garrett welds or how Blake welds. It's all different, but you got to figure out what works for you. 
Um, it's kind of like the process too. Some processes will come easier to you than others. For me, right. I found that that's pig. Um, sticks fun too, but uh, I guess you can kind of find your niche here too, what you're best at, what you like the most, so that way you kind of know coming out of here what you what you want to set, what kind of jobs you want to set your sights on too. What's some advice that you would give someone looking to come to the Kentucky Walding Institute? Definitely come in with an open mindset. Don't come in thinking you'll br like blow through everything and oh, you know this, I know that. Just be coachable. Hopefully what some of these students have shared with you all resonates and allows you to think about getting into the welding industry for the right reasons. Yes, you can make a lot of money welding and yes, you can travel and see the world with it, but the biggest thing is you have to be able to push through the hard times. One of the things that I struggled with whenever I was coming to the Kentucky Welding Institute is I worried too much and overthought everything. I overthought the welds, I overthought um, what I was gonna be doing after school and in the industry. I overthought what the instructors thought of my welds. I overthought everything and it really hurt me and it set me back a little bit when I came here to KWI. But eventually, I worked past that. You have to be able to mentally get past those roadblocks and push through those hard times, just like in the welding industry. Yes, I made it through KWI and out in the industry, I thought I was gonna be fine and not have any hiccups, but I was so wrong. Out in the industry, there's been several, several times when I made a lot of big mistakes that mentally put me in a bad place. But you have to keep moving, the world keeps spinning, and the ball keeps rolling. You have to move on from those mistakes and work to get better. That's the biggest thing about the welding industry is don't know everything, you have to take advice from everybody and get better each and every day. So check us out on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Give us a subscribe and follow for more information about the Kentucky Welding Institute and the welding industry. I'm Keegan and we'll catch you on the next one.